Hey everyone, Shaver1000 here. Today we're going to do a revisit of the Rich Loam Fire Tower. Uh, the last time I was here, I crashed a drone. Did a pretty bad number on it, so hopefully that don't happen again. So I'm gonna take you over here and show you the tower. I'll do the best I can. My back is killing me today, but I'll show you the tower and then we'll put the drone up get some footage of the tower for you so stick around it should be fun okay guys so right over there is a historic general store it's been there for years and years and years I'll tell you more about that later monkey and I went in there last time we were out here really cool place so let's get you see if i can turn this up and turn my screen so i can get you uh okay so i guess we're going to have some sun issues but there's the tower whole fire tower you used to be able to go up on it but last time we was out here you couldn't i don't know if it's still that way but there's no way I can climb them steps today, even if it was open. So, let's go ahead and let's get the drone up. It's up there a good ways. I can tell you how high it is once I get the drone up to the top of that. But yeah, I, I hit it clear up almost to the top of that. I'll throw a footage of it in right now. And the story on that is um, that one wasn't GPS or anything, so you had to fly it. And I was flying it, Monkey was talking to me. I'm blaming it on her, but it's technically my fault because I shouldn't have talked to her when you're flying a drone or aircraft or anything. <laughs> so, so it's kind of my fault, but she don't need to know that. <laughs> and I crashed it, and it fell all the way down to the bottom. And, uh, bent a couple of the motors up i mean the drone i got it fixed after that and it's still it'll still fly to this day it just not it won't fly like it used to all right let's get the drone up in the air Okay, guys, 
right, so there you go. No crashes this time. Got up to the windows, right at the windows, even with the windows, it was 100 feet. So there's no information about it on this kiosk. There's a kiosk here, but there's no information about how high it is or anything. Monkey walked over there and said it's still blocked off. Well, they still got the chain across it and it's locked, so. Yeah, that's a ways up there. I couldn't, I wouldn't be able to do it today anyway. That's okay. So yeah, there you go. Revisit, a little better drone footage this time, huh? And you didn't crash. That's what I just said. Yeah. Better drone footage, better drone. Yeah, yeah. So, so I'll throw some still images in after the video, at the end of the video. You wanna check out the store? Yeah, I'm going to do a short. Okay, but do yeah. you want to check out the store? Or sure. After. I'm going to see if, yeah, after. Mm -hmm. Do you want to check out the store before we leave? Yeah. Okay. Um, I want to see if I can film in there. Oh, okay. That'd be cool. Yeah. All right, hang on, guys. Okay. Monkey's I'm looking at ice girl. cream. I have to be careful. <laughs> so... This is the original post office. I'm an ice cream person, but I'm diabetic. Oh, we have to be real careful, yeah. So this building's been here since what, 21? 1928. 28? This, this one was 1928. The first one was 1922. Okay. Didn't it burn down or something? The first one did. First one burned down. So this has been here, and it's been in operation since 28. Very, very cool. I was telling the lady here that um, when I was growing up, I'd go out to my grandmother's every weekend out at the farm, we called it, and about a half a mile from there, there was a little store like this. A little country store. It had a little fruit stand. It was called Boyd's. And uh, <clears throat> we'd do chores around the farm, and we'd get... 10, 20 cents a piece, me, my brother, and my two cousins, and we would go buy pen, penny candy, and just places like this bring back memories to me. Yeah. Got all this stuff here. This is awesome. I remember my grandmother hanging hams up like that in the meat house. Really, really cool. The black licorice for your mom? She loves that stuff. It's yeah. really cool, the original post office. Yeah, wow. Do you see this? Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's the bow drill kit. What? Bow drill. Campfire bow drill kit. Yeah, the bow drill. Oh, neat. You've never seen me do one of them. Yeah. It's like a lot of work for me. <laughs> it is, but it's, uh, you know. Well, it's definitely It's healthy. fun to them, though. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Something different. How much is this? Definitely. That one is $26. That's pretty cool. She's getting this one. She wants me to do a video on that. Unless you'd rather have that one. I'd rather have that one. Really? Yeah. Oh, we'll get that one. I'll put this back. Okay. Yeah. We'll get the bow kit. Upcoming video, guys. As soon as my back gets well again. He's <laughs> got a bad back. He hurt it the other day. Yeah. Got all these games. Remember this? Yeah. When I was a kid, we called it rebound. It's still hurting. There you go. You're nothing like when you I gotta check this out. Isn't that cool? Toolbox. The magic spring. A slinky, a slinky, wonderful, wonderful toy. Okay. <laughs> 
walks downstairs alone in pairs and makes a slinkety sound. A thing, a thing, a marvelous thing. Everyone knows it's slinky. We got all kinds of stuff here, guys. They sell eggs, pocket watches, razors. Ah, uh, this, this place is awesome. Little hatchet. Uh, a lot of cast iron. Uh, these cast iron hooks and stuff were they made locally? No, they're made a uh, company out of New Mexico that makes stuff for the reenactment shows and make them for us. So they're they're hand done, right? Yeah. Yeah. It's a company out of New Mexico that does it. Huh. Amazing. That's cool. Remember these? The rock oh, yeah. candies. All right, you got everything you wanted? Yeah. Okay. Next time we'll buy some meats. I don't think I buy a cast iron. Huh? Maybe a cast iron. <laughs> what, like that Dutch oven. That's why we need that Dutch oven there. Oh my God. I can bake you bread and cakes and all that. I'd have of you shit. out there by the fire this every one. day. This one. That's a one. <laughs> yeah. By the fire every day. You know we're in Florida, right? That's okay. You'll be fine. You can come into there every once in a while. She always, she always makes me. He's the cook in the house. Build a fire. And he likes to cook things on the. Fire. Want steaks on the grill? I'm like, it's 97. <laughs> you want me to build a fire? Yeah. yeah. Oh, look at that. That's cute. Yeah. Did you see this? Paddle boat. Oh yeah, that's one. With we... the rubber band. Yeah. Isn't that cool? Yeah. All kinds of all kinds of cool stuff. Yeah. Alright guys, hang on. Okay guys, here's some uh history here. If you want to pause and read that. But the first one was built in 1922 and it burnt down. And this one was was built where the original one was this one was built in 1928 so they rebuilt it uh, her husband's uncle built this place and ever since well since 1922 it's been family owned and operated since and so this is the building the original building of 1928 family owned all them years and uh, and some of you guys aren't interested in this, but I, I am really, really interested. I mean, these doors and windows are original to the building. This whole building's original. I'm sure it's probably had a roof put on it, but, um, but like the siding and everything. Oh, they got our, our camera. They got the same cameras we got. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um. So. But yeah, um, the siding and everything, that's all original to it, to this building. Like I said, I'm sure the roof has been been replaced at one time. Maybe not. I mean, those, those tin roofs, if you kept them painted, they'd last forever. So it could be the original roof. I didn't ask about that. But the doors and windows are original. Built in 1928. So hopefully you guys could see that sign there. But this this is awesome. Monkey's over here getting a... I think she's going short. I'll get out of her way. The Rich Loom General Store. Uh, very nice people. Every time we come in here, it's just... And they got benches out here because you, you can get the, the hand-dipped ice cream cone and sit there and eat your ice cream cone. Yeah. Really, really cool, guys. All right. So, I'm going to end this video here. I want to say thanks for watching. I appreciate it. Uh, you guys are great and uh, we'll see you in the next one hope you enjoyed and Shea Bear the myth the man the legend I'm out of here monkey's taking a short a short <laughs> monkey's taking a short <laughs>
<laughs> we'll see you guys soon. Bye-bye and take care.